Hi, it's Sherry Carroll bringing you some tips and tricks for Studio Calico. I've created four fun cards using the Make Kit and add-ons. And to start off my tutorial, I'm going to show you just some basic stamping. On this card, I've used some of the Hero Arts uh, Midtone Shadow Inks, and I've stamped a word and my ampersand. So here's the finished card that I'm creating and showing you the tips and tricks on, and I've used the Stepping Stone Alpha Set from the add-on kit and also the ampersand, and some shadow tone, mid-tone inks. And then I used some of the embellishments and stuff from the kits. This was totally fun. So here I have the stamp, and it's set regularly on my acrylic block, and I have the shadow ink mid-tone butter bar. And this is a really nice yellow ink, and it goes on the stamps really easily and they're great for acrylic stamps and especially bold type images. So I've patted the ink pad onto my stamp and now I'm just stamping onto regular white cardstock. I'll show you the comparison from the new stamped image. It looks a little splotchy but as you know the properties of these inks allow them to smooth out with time as they soak into the paper. So they're really fun inks. I've also stamped the word me with the stepping stone alphabet and wet cement ink. Next I want to show you how to quickly stamp on pattern paper. So in the kit there was this great hexagon shape and I've stamped on various types of pattern paper that were also in my kit. This is a really quick technique that you can use and as you can see I have a bunch of different papers that I've stamped my hexagon and cut out. Some I've lifted up and some I've left flat. So just go ahead and peel the hexagon from the protective sheet and place it on your acrylic block. And here I'm inking this up with Cup of Joe Midtone Shadow Ink from Hero Arts. And Studio Calico also carries all these inks. And I'm just going to simply stamp onto my pattern paper and release it. And here's what that ink pad cover looks like. And once I'm done, I can go ahead and cut it out with my scissors. Now I'm just applying some adhesive to the back of my hexagon, and I can go ahead and place it on my card. And I'm going to go ahead and turn this card upside down a little bit so I can get this pattern placed right in where it needs to be. Just love having a whole nice mix of pattern papers and stamping. So cute. And next up, I want to show you how to stamp some portions, and I'll show you how to do a little masking. So here's the card portion that I'm showing, and I have the mustache detached from the I mustache you. And I'll show you how I did that with a little bit of post-it note. So I have my stamp on my acrylic block, and as you can see, the mustache sits quite closely to the message. And I wanted to separate these out so that I can cut them out. So here I have a standard post-it note, and I'll just peel that away. And I'll go ahead and place the post-it note over the mustache to create a mask. And now I can ink this up with my wet cement mid-tone shadow ink from Hero Arts. So I want to make sure I get really good ink coverage on this before I stamp onto my paper. So I'll go over a few times. Okay, once I have that well inked, I'll go ahead and remove the mask. And now I'm going to stamp onto the bottom edge of the paper because I'll be cutting out this strip. And once I press that down, now you can see I have a nice clean image with my message. Now I'll be stamping the mustache portion with the mid-tone Cup of Joe ink. I wanted this to be a really nice strong brown. So here I can go ahead and ink up the entire message or the entire stamp and go ahead and stamp this onto my white cardstock. Since I'll be cutting out the mustache, uh, I can cut around everything and I don't have to worry about the message being in, in the way. Okay, now I have all my pieces and parts together, and I wanted to show you another way of using a portion of the stamp. So on this card, I've done a top fold card, and I've also stamped the circle image. It's also Studio Calico Hero Arts Cling Stamp. 
and the stamp actually has a message that goes in the middle, but I omitted it. And then I added this great zigzag circle to give me texture and additional color as well. So here I have my mustache all cut out, and I've added some foam tape to the back. And I like to pop things up whenever I can. I just absolutely love dimension. So I'll go ahead and place this on my card. And I've cut the edges of my message strip with a V-cut. And here I'm just adding some adhesive, and I'll go ahead and place this on my card. I've actually decided to cover up one of the V-cuts, and I have a button here that I've already added twine to the button center, and also I put glue dots on the back. By adding your twine and thread to your button before you actually put it down on your card really saves time. You don't have to sew, and we call that faux sewing. So also I have a little heart button that I've already added some twine and a little bow onto that, and here's how my finished card looks. So next I wanted to cover some stamping on the flip side, and this is a really good way to get the most out of your stamps. So here's the card portion that I'll be showing you. I've created my own pattern paper by using both sides of one stamp. So here's the stamp that comes in the add-on kit. I'll move my paper out of the way so you can see it. It's a double ring circle. And when you peel it away from the backing, you can see that there's the detail on the front of the stamp. It's like a donut or a washer. So now I'm placing it onto the stamp upside down. So the image is actually sitting on the block, and this is the background that you see here on the top. So I have my black basil paper, and I love the texture on it. I'm also using the Memories Unicorn White ink. And so now I'm just inking up the back of the stamp. Once you can see that, now it's like a, a washer. So now I can go ahead and just stamp onto the black paper, and this gives me just a really cool circle design. When you have circles and squares and other like rectangles, you can totally make your own paper just by using the stamps. So now I'm going to go ahead and clean this off. I just have a baby wipe here. Just wiping that ink off. It comes off really easily. And I'll go ahead and flip the stamp over and use it the regular way. And this time I'll be using uh, Versamark ink because it really reacts well with cardstock that is dyed. So here I'm just inking this up, and I'll go ahead and stamp this in place. And now you can see how it darkens the cardstock like a watermark will. I also cleaned off the stamp in between each of the stamping because that white ink is still so fresh and it hasn't had a chance to dry. So I'll just keep re-inking and creating more circles to create my own pattern paper. And here's how it looks on my card. So I've just created my own card by folding the pattern paper, and I have my circles all stamped. And it's all dry now, so it really works out well. So here's a recap on some of the things I've showed you. Some basic stamping with the Hero Arts Mid-Tone Shadow Inks. Also stamping on pattern paper and creating your own little embellishments to go onto your cards. Using portions of stamps or separating stamps out to create new images. And stamping on the flip side to create your own background papers. I hope this has inspired you to pull out your stamps and inks and create your own embellishments and background papers. If you have any questions, you can visit Studio Calico online. Thanks!